everyone, JRDL96 here with a brand new reaction video. As you can tell by the title, it's another trail reaction. As you can tell what it, the trail I'm reacting to, it's something big. Godzilla. Godzilla. Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Now the last trailer of Godzilla that I saw was back in December. And it gave us our more glimpses at uh, all the monsters in this film. Like Rodin. King Ghidorah, Mothra, and of course, the king himself, Godzilla. And probably one of my favorite shots in that trailer was that wide shot of like Godzilla on the right side, and then you have King Ghidorah on the left, and pretty much the wings of King Ghidorah is taking much of the screen. <laughs> this, that's, this, the scale of that is just insane. I, I love that, and then also the final shot at the end with um, Godzilla running at King Ghidorah was great too. So uh, the reason why I'm more the reason why I feel like this movie is gonna be so special to me is because it's coming out on my birthday, which is weird. <laughs> but enough rambling, let's just get right into it. So without further ado, let's react to this trailer, shall we? Oh, Desert Fields. What oh. we are witnessing here. Oh, the, that spider-looking thing. Of Titans. Titans. There's Mothra. How many of these things are there? Hundreds. Seventeen. I'm counting. Seventeen. That's messed up. Know <laughs> <laughs> about Bobby Brown. Oh shit. We stop this Ghidorah. We stop them all. Is there another creature that might stand a chance against him? Uh I think I have an answer. Godzilla. The king himself. Oh my god. Zilla. <laughs> That's my favorite shot. Yeah, May 31st! Our planet will perish. And so will we. Wow. Godzilla free. There he is. Oh yeah, sure. Let's bring him in for a beer. No. <laughs> join the fight. <laughs> Let's just bring him in for a beer. He doesn't play like that. Oh! <laughs> Dude. Ho 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 ho! Damn right. Wow. Fucking wow. There's so many great shots in this trailer. Again, you saw Godzilla getting taken down by Ghidorah from the three heads. One of the heads is biting on Godzilla's neck and shit, like, and taking him down. That, and then you see Godzilla using his atomic breath to push back Ghidorah. Something tells me that Godzilla might die in this movie, but then get resurrected and become more powerful because... The reason why is because of his spine actually glowing this time, his vertebrae, which usually would glow if he's using his atomic breath. But it seems like it's glowing more than just that. It's just now part of him now. So I feel like they might resurrect, like, the human characters may resurrect Godzilla somehow, maybe with a nuke. That's, his, that's where Godzilla draws his power, right? Nuclear bombs. But I gotta, I, I probably butchered the name of the uh, the young girl that I know that I know from Stranger Things, even though I don't watch this show. I don't. It never interests me one bit. Nothing wrong with the show. 
It just doesn't interest me. Millie Bobby Brown. Millie Bobby Brown. Yeah, that's a weird name. That's just a funny name, but appealing. But, um... Rodin's Powers, obviously, you saw that one shot of, like, that little town next to a volcano. And you saw, because of the wings of um, Rodin, causes these hurricane force winds. Like, it's insane, like, to see that stuff. But it, it's un unbelievable. Yeah, let's have Godzilla come over for a beer <laughs> to join the fight. You saw, I think it was Rodin and Ghidorah going at it, too. And you saw Mothra going at it with one of them. I don't know if it was a Rodin or if it was a Ghidorah. Mothra, I know, is mostly supposed to be the good per the good monster, the, the good guy, but sometimes could be the villain. Usually Godzilla is mostly the villain, but... I guess Mothra tends to be the hero, the anti-hero as well. Rodin, I think, is just neutral. And Ghidorah is just the evil one. The, the main threat. You saw all these lightning strikes and shit. You saw all the interference being that's being caused. You saw that one shot, I think, of um, Millie Bobby Brown's character hiding from Ghidorah. And you saw the computer monitor, like, glitching. So it's cool to see stuff like that, but... I'm just going to watch this trailer again because that was fucking epic as hell. So let's go right back into this epic ass movie. <laughs> what we are witnessing here yeah, those are is freaky the return shit, freaky stuff there. of Titans. Mothra. How many of these things are there? 17. I'm counting. That's messed up. <laughs> Mothra. Rodin. Ghidorah. Oh my. They're moving like a pack. They're hunting. They all respond directly to an alpha. That's a epic shot looking at the With the cross. We stop this Ghidorah. We stop them all. Is there another creature that might stand a chance against him? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Our planet will perish. And so will we. Unless we set Godzilla free. Bring him in for a beer. No, it's time we join the fight. Because he saved you guys from the the other monster from the first film. The Mudos. <laughs> we just live in it. Damn right. My God, that it, that trailer again. I love when trailers go with the beat of the song, like go with the beat and have an, like a catchy song to it, like a like one of the uh, prime examples I think was one of the some of the Black Panther trailers. Um, because the music really fit the, fit the tone, and I guess with Godzilla, this one, they would go with the beat, and then when they revealed the title for the movie, King of the Monsters, it goes with the beat of the, the trailer music. <laughs> but that one line when Godzilla comes in, and then you have the one guy go, oh my god, and then the other guy go, finishes, Zilla. <laughs> oh my god, Zilla. And obviously, I'm totally aware 
I, well, we're all aware at this point, that they're trying to set up this giant-ass cinematic universe. They're trying to take a page out of Marvel's book. Uh, they're trying to set up a giant-ass match between Kong and Godzilla. And apparently, recently, that movie just finished filming. That's what I've heard. And I still gotta see Kong. I really gotta still see Kong Skull Island to really understand Kong. Because it's going to lead to this giant-ass matchup between the two. Um, so, I'm highly looking forward to it. It's not I'm not seeing the movie just because it's coming out of my birthday. I've seen the first Godzilla film in this legendary verse that they're doing. I loved it as so much. Um, so, I'm really looking forward to this. Because I, I'm becoming more and more of a Godzilla fan because of this. Wasn't really a big fan of Zilla from 98. Wasn't really a big fan, but... But I was really... I really wanted to see... I want to see more Godzilla movies. I want to see the old school ones. Like, I've seen bits and pieces of some of the old stuff. Like, especially the the funniest ones. Where Godzilla's doing this stupid uh, dance. Um, the, uh... Like this... <laughs> that is hysterical. Uh, I think it was after he just dis defeated King Ghidorah, which is hysterical even more. And my favorite one of all time is when he slides on his tail to do a drop kick. <laughs> I love that clip so much. Oh my god. But anyways, highly looking forward to this. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's reaction. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, share this video with your friends. Be sure to ring that bell to be part of the notification squad. Be sure to also check out my Instagram because I make quotes on Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, even myself. I also do reenactments and cosplays on there, so go check it out. Be sure to also check out my Tumblr, it's in the description as well. So until next time, JRD96 signing out, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.